Everybody was saying it was beautiful, it's beautiful, and it is gorgeous. Indeed. What could be more exotic? More enchanting. Hawaiian paradise. More romantic. Everybody was like, that's the prettiest place. You've got to get married there. Then running away to Hawaii. You're going to do it and you're going to elope. There's the place. Jennifer Mutheimers of not so exact Springfield, Missouri, planned it the minute they got engaged. We knew where we wanted to stay. We knew what we wanted to do. And we just called the travel agent to let them take care of it. A storybook wedding and honeymoon on Maui. Yes. You wanted to make sure that this was the perfect honeymoon. Right. This is Nothing right. went wrong. That's, That's right. right. We didn't want anything that was going to be stressful. <laughs> so we thought this would be the easiest way. And boy, were we wrong. <laughs> just two weeks before the wedding. Our travel agent called us and told us that we didn't have a trip. <laughs> we didn't have... Um, our money or anything. She has said that the people that she used to plan our trip had gone out of business and weren't honoring any contracts with anybody I didn't believe and it. we didn't have anything. Our trip was gone. It was history. Team Hawaii of Las Vegas, Nevada, the tour company their travel agent used, had simply shut down with no warning. What we're doing is storing everything because we have to vacate the store. You had already paid for this, right? Oh, yeah. Paid oh, in yes. Full. We lost over $4,000. 4338 to be exact. <laughs> we didn't do anything maliciously. A 48 Hours producer cornered the owner of Team Hawaii, Larry Vandling, as he was literally closing up shop. What assets there are in Team Hawaii have been inventoried and will be sold and will be paid. Just like any normal bankruptcy. But what's the bottom line? Will he make sure travelers like Jennifer and Darren get a refund? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't have those numbers or the figures yet. But we're doing everything we possibly can. This is not a, a, a big thing. It is a big thing to me personally. Mm -hmm. It's not in the scale of a huge uh, tour operator going out of business. But don't try to tell that to people Team Hawaii left high and dry. How many of them were there? Well, just here in Springfield alone, 48 Hours found 55 would-be travelers who either lost money or had to kiss their dream vacations goodbye when Team Hawaii folded. We just wanted our money back. Say, so can't you give them some money back? Oh, no, Team Hawaii has got that and run with it, you know. Frustrated and angry. Price 21.32. Clyde and Betty Foreman decided to go to Hawaii Way. It's our 45th wedding anniversary. And how long had you planned it? Close to really. Determined to celebrate. We were sitting down on about the second row there. Oh, uh, you must and have been close. Things were hot. They did manage to cobble together a makeshift vacation. Did this have anything to do with anything that Team Hawaii set up? No, we booked this on our own. As for the hotel. Uh, it was supposed to be just right across the street from the beach. And supposed to have the uh, uh, honeymoon suite. We wound up with a budget motel. A budget motel. A budget motel. There wasn't champagne. There wasn't no lace. There wasn't no flowers. <laughs> we didn't get what we paid for. We couldn't use these vouchers. They weren't valid anymore. It was. It was sad, wasn't it? They really ruined it for us on our 45th, man. Great Southern, the travel agency which handled most of Team Hawaii's Springfield business, is getting most of the blame here. But Great Southern's lawyers insist that a travel agency can't be held legally responsible when a tour operator like Team Hawaii goes belly up. Unfortunately for travelers, the courts generally have agreed. You don't get money back when somebody goes into bankruptcy, you know, if anything, a few cents on a dollar in these travel cases. A huge problem, since travel agencies use tour operators extensively. Oh, Attorney I'm... Alexander Analik specializes in travel law. Do you have any idea how many tour operators each year go under? We try to keep track of them, at least it's in the hundreds, and these are major tour operators. So what can travelers do? First of all, is to use a credit card, a credit card under federal law. You don't have to pay if you didn't get your services. That's the best protection. Consumer can hedge their bet, maybe with travel insurance. And never write a check directly to a tour operator. You can see that your money's going into an escrow account in a bank. The check gets written to the bank escrow account. Advice too late for Jennifer and Darren.
Where do those people go now to have any hope of getting their money back? I hate to say this. Put it in the experience column. Go on your vacation. Try to lie on the beach. Yeah, look at it. They're picking up speed. Just what the Rhymers did at their own expense. We're really going. How much did you end up spending? Beautiful, huh? Everything looks beautiful. For a vacation that you had essentially already paid for. Uh, if you want to include even phone calls, it's going to be around 8000 plus. But in the end, perhaps worth it.